Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a class from the crystal healing program that I started on my website. The class today is called A Window to the Soul, Crystal Healing, because we're doing um, uh, a quartz crystal with a window uh, type of contemplation. We're using that visual, that frequency. You don't have to have the crystal to tap into the frequency. Um, we're using that frequency in order to access parts of the soul um, that need transformation, healing, integration. Uh, and a window on a crystal is a formation that forms uh, within the body of the crystal between the main body and the tip. And it is a diamond shape uh, formation. It looks like a little window uh, on a quartz crystal. Uh, and it is called a window and the class is called a window to the soul because it's on our healing journey our goal is to integrate more of the soul into the body elevate out of the personality matrix without losing sight of the personality but not being ruled by the personality so we have a bird's eye view of ourselves and we are more integrated the journey is continuous we're never fully integrated within this paradigm but we're more integrated we operate at a soul consciousness level and with a meditation uh, such as or uh, intention focus such as today's focus we allow ourselves to expand further out soul expansion um, uh, some call it ascension but it is really consciousness uh, expansion we uh, our perspective focus of attention becomes wider we view more of life more of existence more of reality and we integrate all of the parts of the soul bring more of the soul into the body embodiment and also we integrate say the darker side, uh, the negative side, whatever we don't want to look at. Now we have the capacity to truthfully look at ourselves and integrate it. Thus, we become whole. A window, crystal with a window or quartz window crystal can allow us to link the dimensions, the lower and the higher dimensions, the physical and the finer uh, layers. Of existence so the layers of the soul so that we can have access to um, uh, to uh, on a soul healing level to transforming ourselves and thus transforming the collective and another announcement this is announcement for the crystal healing uh, classes which I'm sharing here with the YouTube community this class but join me for the entirety of uh, the program it's beautiful we've done um, individual crystals such as rhodochrosite, amethyst, shungite and others but we're also doing um, a record keeper time links for the multi-dimensional self today a window to the soul having the truthful look at ourselves and also access to the higher self and also I'm inviting you to uh, take my workshop Equinox April 19th uh, sorry, March 19th to March 21st, it's just a weekend getaway, it's a weekend workshop, you can participate live of course, but you will receive the recording if you have to miss one of the days or two of the days, it is three days, three hours a day, we're gonna do yoga, very fluid, all levels and some intention work, visualization work, uh, working with the transformative energies of spring, we're literally entering uh, the Earth's New Year and that is signifying also uh, the new Age of Aquarius. This is a more official entry into the Age of Aquarius. So it's a completely new energy in humanity. We're still, still dismantling the old, which is a very gnarly process and it requires a lot of grieving, a lot of shadow integration, um, dealing with those things that often we don't want to deal with the negative stuff quote unquote which without which we're half and it doesn't matter which half we are positive or negative half the results are always the same so we do want to integrate and become whole by integrating the shadow by being able to surrender let go of the past and also transform forward and be able to tap 
into from a soul level to the new and how we're gonna move into the new world new creativity is available to us new ways of service um, a bird's eye view of the um, the physical realm so now we have a, a higher perspective view of the matrix grid and really the opportunity is massive i feel that we're going to have real fun uh, on the workshop because um, it's a lighter theme than the last fall workshop and i don't know if i would do a workshop for summer so maybe this is the workshop for the uh, in for this period of time i don't do them often as you know usually once a year uh, but uh, this one is going to have such a new energy, spring forward, um, new consciousness theme and how we can work with these new energies to download. We are having access to new information, new ways of creativity, new ways of service, expanding new humanity with new consciousness. So we are able to tap and find new ways to do the work we do or new work all together all right so those are going to be uh, the general themes but for the entire schedule go to my website i have posted uh, schedules and um, uh, just a general outline of the workshop because it always takes um, its own shape as everybody brings their own energy and remember to flow with strength and ease Starting at the front of the mat, pull the belly in, roll the shoulders back and down, open the palms of the hands forward and drop, drop in. Drop in the body, feel the body, bring yourself in the present moment and pay attention to how it feels to occupy the space that you occupy consciously. Nice deep inhalations. Feeling a lift through the crown of the head, spread the toes wide open, which is a great uh, healing therapy for the feet. It lifts the arches. It's therapeutic for feet deformations. So bunions or um, uh, arches issues, we really allow everything to align by spreading the toes open, but also that is our foundation. From there, everything fires up properly the muscles in the legs, the hips, everything from there, core, back. Inhale the hands over the head. This is a gentle move, step back and circle, semi-circle the hands. I want you to really feel every part of your body. This is a simple move, so we are able to really pay attention. really occupy the body as we become present more of the soul is able to come in more healing more integration and this embodiment so really feel it as if you're feeling each cell you're consciously aware of each cell of your in your body a few more you're really warming up the core here, the obliques as you lift. A few more warming up, consciously awakening the muscles, the joints. Beautiful. Back to the front. And we're going to take the left leg back and across and reach with the arms, elongating both sides, both to the right. Great, forward, opposite side. Really stretching, going deep into the psoas. Deep but simple, easy. Bring the breath into each move. Feel the meridians, the energy moving through the body. The rivers, 
of energy. A few more simple fluid, gentle moves. Great. And coming to the front. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, hands over the third eye and bring the vision of a crystal with a window just in this area. Feel this third eye area connecting to the crown of the head. Without bringing any other visual, just the crystal and presence. Bring your own presence. release the hands down we're gonna do a few heel drops here I've been including them constantly in the classes as an anti-aging technique so lift and just drop down feel the vibration moving through the bones through the uh, fascia through the muscles up it's, it rinses the lymph, strengthens the bones. I've done this through the years, but someone tagged me on Instagram with a Japanese woman, I think she was 90 years old and that was her longevity secret. She looked like she was 40. <laughs> All right, a few more, just drop back on the heel and feel the strengthening the bones tissues, moving the lymph, all right, good, time for a stomach vacuum, bring your hands over uh, the knees, just above the knees, and we're going to exhale and hollow the belly, you can lock your chin to the chest, that way we're working with three bandhas and also mula bandha, root chakra or root lock, root lift. One more. <sighs> One more. Reaching over the head, exhale, hinging at the hips, you can bend the knees, forward fold. You can keep the knees bent here, soft. Look ahead of you, halfway up, plank. Pulling everything in, a very strong plank. Spread the fingers open. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Focus on the breath, which brings you into the present moment. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. And 
And here we're gonna step forward, grab the knee into the rib cage, step it back and circle the arms back in a fluid twist. Step forward, knee up. Circle, twist. Three. Four. Five. And stay here. From here, we're gonna step forward and bring the knee up, opening the knee out. Engaging the inner thigh and really pulling the belly in. This is a core exercise, so it should feel like one. Draw everything in and then push back, booty lift. Lift, push back. Three, four, squeeze, five, squeeze, six, Squeeze, seven, squeeze, eight, squeeze, nine, ten. Step it back, high lunge. Drop the back knee down. A slight back bend. Hands over the third eye again. Bring that image of a window quartz. Right to the third eye. And vinyas. Take the left leg up. Step it through. High lunge. Knee up into the rib cage. Step it back. Circle twist, reach up, warming up each part of the body. We're deepening the warm up. This is moving from warm up to actual movement vinyasa. See? Really feel the moves in your body. Be present in your body, in your breath. From here, step forward, and we're gonna lift up, really engage. The muscles pull the TVA in towards the midline, and press back. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Step it back, drop the knee back. A back bend, mild. Hands over the third eye, a window cords. And vinyasa. Take the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Here we're gonna bring the knee into the right hand, left knee, right hand. Reach back with your left hand, step it back into high lunge and gently elongate both sides to your right. So this is a saw stretch. You steady the hips, you don't move the hips, you just reach over to the right, coming out, twist, stretch, a very gentle elongation, three, four, 
a lot of balancing. Five. Hands in prayer twist. Bring the left hand on the floor. Side plank, squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline. Lift the hips, light shoulders. And Chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, reach over, to left, elongating both sides, steadying the hips, knee to, Opposite hand, twist, reach, twist, reach, two more, last one, step it back, twist. And let's bring the right hand on the floor. You can adjust in a variation of a side plank, side plank. Fight lightness within the hold. Reaching over the head, plank, and we're going to walk the feet to the front in yogic squat, very important pose. And again, bring your awareness to the third eye and the visual of a crystal. Now, these classes are not meant to be a one time, you just do it and you get it. It's more of an activation awareness of that access point being there for you. We're only allowed to access things we're ready for. And more so, as we begin to operate at a soul consciousness level, we have access to more of the collective and the, the collective soul and the soul. So this is just bringing our awareness to the fact that we have this access point, this capacity to transcend a lot of the personality matrix and when ready to integrate more of the soul, to heal the drama within the personality and also the collective trauma, the mother wound. So we're reminded to always pay attention, be quiet when there is communication, synchronicity around us. We're reminded to pay attention to all the messages that are streaming from our own selves, from the higher self, from the higher mind. The expanded self. Plank. Chaturanga. 
up dog chaturanga down dog inhale the right leg up open the hip lift the knee optional you can grab your ankle step it through high lunge let's bring the hands over the third eye circle them up from here we're going to grab either the knee or the foot if you're ready and twist a lot of spine activation alignment here step it back high lunge and we're gonna twist open the arms to the right Again, knee or foot, twist, step it back to the right. Focus on the movement, a lot of balancing. It further helps you be present in your breath. Step it back. Four. Five. And from here, we're going to bring the right hand onto the right hip, left hand on the floor, and revolving half moon. Take the right arm up, press the back heel as high as you can. Lengthen the right side of the torso beautiful plank vinyas take the left leg up open the knee optional you can skip ankle holding another balancing pose here steady the breath Great, release, step it through, high lunge. Either grab your knee with the left hand or your foot and look back. Step it back and open to your left. Foot twist or knee twist. Three more. And from here, revolving half moon, lift the back heel as high as you can. Lengthen the torso, press the left hip back. And plank. Chaturanga, a board dog. Chaturanga, downward dog. Inhale the right leg up. You can open the knee out and pulse. Lift the leg five times, engaging the hip and body. Four, five, step it through. Warrior one.
From here we're gonna transition one smooth, more for evolving half moon. And straight back, come up, dancers. I call those dancer steps in the Core Awakening series program. Dancer steps really squeeze. Bring everything in, Mulabanda in. Great. From here, same. Revolving half moon. Make it a dance. Come up. Smile. Squeeze. Revolving half moon. Last one. Not easy. Lots of balancing, focus. Warrior one. Hands over the third eye and reminding yourself to be open to communication clairvoyant clear audience communication those finer messages that come from the core of our being you can call it higher self inner guidance angelic so many names whatever you want to call it is this interconnectedness with with our innate wisdom that sometimes we have forgotten or source as we peek into the soul window to the soul we can see lovingly with compassion and forgiveness the parts that need healing and integration as we heal those parts we become the transformers the alchemists in our communities for humanity so as we peek and transform and be able to deal with our own truths through that window of awareness we become the alchemizers the people that download the new ways of healing, the new consciousness. We hold space for others as we hold for ourselves. Vinyasa. Take the left leg up, open the knee and post it five times. One, squeeze the hips, two, three, four, Five, step in through warrior one and we're going to go into revolving half moon lift feel it be present in your body in your own presence and come up dancers up and again Revolving half moon, dancers abs. Enjoy the moment, the process, even if you're stumbling. Do it lovingly towards yourself, forgiving with humor. Squeeze. Last one. And step it back in Oreo one. Hands over the third eye, quieting the monkey mind. And by quieting, we don't mean stopping it. We can't force it to do anything. We can step outside of it and just observe it. Let it do its monkey dance. <laughs> We're just the outer observer. 
open to our own higher inner truth and allowing the personality matrix to not dominate us, to be there. We're not erasing it. We're just observing it. It's going to be there. But as we become aware of it, we're not wished washed like a leaf in the water or in the wind by it. We're the conscious creators, manifestors of our own reality. And of our own emotions. We're not just unconsciously moving through our own emotions and getting triggered left and right and just we become more contained, more aware of our own selves, more forgiving, able to transform and heal. Straighten the uh, lead knee and take plie. So we're gonna pose here and reach to one side. Pulse, opposite side. Pulse, reach. Pulse, reach. Pulse, reach. Pulse, reach. Pulse, elongate both, both sides. Open the arms out, pulse, twist very gently to the right, pulse, left, pulse, right, pulse, left, pulse, right, pulse, left. Great. Grab a wall and we're going to lift out and back, slightly out and back the left leg and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and back one two pressing back activating the hamstrings four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. For this next pose, if you have a block, grab, grab a block, grab a wall, sit back at the wall. This has been through all the, through all the three yoga series and most of the crystal classes, we've been doing this pose. We activated the outer abductors, disactivates the pelvis, balances the hips and pelvis, activates the adductors, the core, press the lower back, so a few points here, lower back on the wall, shoulders on the wall, chin parallel to the floor, Mula Bandha lifting. As you lift Mula Bandha, Lower belly engages and lifts. TVA pulls towards the middle. And we're gonna pulse and squeeze the block, not too hard. Release. Release Mula Bandha. And again, squeeze. Lower back the entire time on the wall. Release. You can sit further down. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze. A few more. This is an excellent pose for strengthening the entire structure. 
less weight on the knees. A few more poses. Pose and squeeze and pause. Release, activates the inner thighs. Sit a little further down, all the way up to 90 degrees angle. At the knees, make sure that your heels are in front of your knees. Reach forward, press the shoulders back, release, press the shoulders back, release. Great, to press yourself out of here, hands on the wall, push, and come out. Grab your block in front of you, and we're gonna come up onto the tippy toes, and wiggle, waggle, down, drop. Come up, tippy toes. <sighs> Drop. One more. <sighs> All right, very good. <sighs> Sitting down, you're gonna bring your feet together, block between the knees, and you're just going to Gently squeeze the block and just move the knees side to side. That again, rebalances the pelvis, the hips. Beautiful. Forward fold. You can bring your block now that you're holding a block underneath your forehead that allows the forehead or the nervous system to relax. And lay down one more time. Block between the knees, feet together and elbows out. You can move side to side, side to side. Squeeze the block gently to bring the hips back in alignment. Spine, great. From here, right knee in. Supine twist. Opposite side. Plow. Shoulder stand. You can do a hip opener here uh, by putting the right ankle above your left knee. Don't move your head here to look at the screen or anything. Just hold your... Plow and shoulder stand steady. You can move your legs if you wish to. 
and slowly lower back down knees over the ears rolling out for Shavasana and lay on the floor you can do legs up a wall I'll do a block underneath between my shoulder blades so gentle a gentle back bend and lay down however you want to wish to need to allowing everything that's fuzzy and buzzy and noisy to just take a pause and move gently away from you contained in its own, own um, sphere and creating a space of peacefulness quietness around you so putting your noise on pause it's just gonna be there waiting for you allowing yourself to experience the emptiness where the whispers of the soul can be heard bringing your awareness to the third eye and again bring a window a quartz with a window above that area around that area and feel the third eye connecting to the crown chakra giving yourself permission to find healing within the stillness to find wisdom in the quietness to find integration having compassion and love for yourself and thus for the collective human soul and just bringing this awareness into your space right now it doesn't have to lead absolutely anywhere it's just an awareness a month from now a week from now a year from now something might click you might come back to this activation of awareness just this consciousness something may open up for you you might have a wider perspective of things an opportunity to heal more to integrate more to see more of your soul of who you truly really are of your own truth and thus be in alignment with your own purpose your own mission your own path your own service so stay here for a little longer and remember to flow with strength and ease namaste <laughs>